So we'll officially announce you as the new face of deception at the launch party, and we should have the first shoot completed by then, if it's at all possible. Would you like me to call the studio, set some things up? I mean, I'm assuming I'm going to be the photographer. Who else? <laughs> but listen, we do have to keep this completely confidential. Does Carly know yet? Carly is not returning my phone calls. In fact, the last time I spoke with her, she hung up on me. Maybe Carly's getting bored with the company. Well, Carly is not your concern. We're going to go ahead with this campaign, with or without Carly. Thank you, Laura. I trust my instincts. And the last shoot really backs me up. You are everything that I wanted for the new face of deception. <laughs> what can we say? You're perfect. Okay, so Lucky will set up the photo session. Elizabeth will remain beautiful. I don't think there's a problem with that. I don't either. And I will break the news to Carly. Mm, I don't envy you. Well, she may surprise us all. I doubt that. Yeah, well, we do have to give her credit for one thing, though. She did discover one heck of a good photographer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. What about Nicholas, though? Yeah, not to mention Gia. I mean, do you really want us to not tell them until the launch party? You know, you're right. I don't want you to have to keep a secret from your brother. I appreciate that. But I will tell Gia as gently as possible. She's going to take it hard. I hope not. She's a beautiful girl, and I'm sure that deception is not the only modeling opportunity that's going to come her way. Yes, Elton? All right, I'll be right there. If you'll excuse me, Elton has turned my daily schedule into an art form. <laughs> he is the most organized person I have ever seen. I know. But just wait. When you hit as the new face of deception, we're going to need him more than ever because I fully expect to be completely swamped. Well, <laughs> I will do my very best. I know. Congratulations and welcome aboard. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, so proud of you. Well, I would have never gotten this job without you. I doubt that. Oh, come on. I was ca crawling on my skin before you started taking the pictures. Cameron didn't do the work, Elizabeth. We're a team because we trust each other. Isn't it amazing we're going to be working together every day? Yes. We got past that Jason thing just in time. Lucky, I really felt terrible about that. Thank you for agreeing to stay away from him. It's no problem. Because we are starting the most exciting time of our life right now, Elizabeth. We don't need these secrets dragging us down. I agree. So how about we celebrate? We can do anything that you want. We can get dessert at Eli's, we can go for a walk in the snow. Or we can go ice skating. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> or we could just go back to Kelly's, and we could take it from there. Oh, that sounds great. But... But I've got this life drawing sketch that's due first thing tomorrow morning, and I haven't even started it yet. Uh, wow. This other project is taking up all your time. I know, but this one won't take that long. All right. Well, I'm not one to stand away of your art. Well, the sooner I get finished, the sooner we can celebrate. That works for me. Why is Elizabeth the face of the deception? And why did you not have the decency to tell Gia yourself? I wanted to tell Gia myself, Nicholas. That's fine. Then why did you tell Elizabeth and Lucky first? You're right. I handled it badly. Look at these pictures. Tell me that Gia was not born to do that. Tell me that. She is a gorgeous girl. I, I'm sure she'll find work. I don't understand it. Then why are you letting a model of this caliber just slip away, Mom? Because she's not right for deception. I used to run PR for this department. Do you remember that? And during that time, I, 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 I learned how to run an ad campaign. I looked at hundreds of portfolios, and most of which do not even compare to this. And this is only her first time out. Okay, you may be right, but she doesn't have the look that I'm after. She jumps off the page! I know, so did Brenda Barrett. Exactly. And she sold millions of dollars worth of products for this company. Okay, look, Gia has the same sultry and mysterious look that Brenda had. And what I'm after is a more innocent look like Dominique. 
Now, I understand that this company is your dream. And I understand that this is a chance for you to start your own life. And I have tried to stay out of it as much as I possibly can. And it's not that you even asked my advice. Not once. No, I, I didn't. You, you did. You know right. what? I don't have to justify anything to you. But I am after an innocent look. Innocence will not sell. Well, I disagree. I, I think Elizabeth is like a chameleon. She can look like ten different people. Gia... Her look is more defined. It, which is precisely what you need to build an image for this company. Come on, don't you get that? You know what? I've made my call. It's a bad one. Finally, I was beginning to get a little worried. Oh, sorry, I was running late, and there were a dozen people ahead of me at Kelly's, and then there was an accident on State Street, and oh, boy. That doesn't account for being a whole half hour late. No, and it doesn't account for your having PMS again. Okay. You're right. Thanks for the ticket. You're welcome. I got us chicken pot pies. Get anything chocolate? No. <laughs> what is wrong? I made the call. I chose Elizabeth as the new face of deception. But this is good news. Well, I still think it's the best thing for the company, but Gia is so upset. Well, tell her to get over it. Well, the worst part of it is she overheard me telling Elizabeth that I had chosen her and, and to keep it a secret until the launch party. Well, that's what Gia gets for eavesdropping. <sighs> what did you say? Well, you know I can't stand that. Elton. Ah. So, what does Nicholas think of your choosing Lucky's girlfriend over his girlfriend? Oh, isn't it awful? <laughs> Nicholas thinks that I didn't give Gia a fair shake, that, that I was biased the whole time, you know? You get the idea. Mm-hmm. This is all Carly's fault. No kidding! You know, I am just furious with her for having chosen Gia as her candidate and making me choose between my son's girlfriends. I mean, that was just a nasty thing to do to me. And then, you know, she didn't even care. She just went straight ahead without a thought for anybody else's feelings. So, other than taking this out on unsuspecting family members, what do you plan on doing about this? The reason that Carly wanted to bring Gia in is because she had a personal problem with Elizabeth. Which is no way to make a business decision. I know that. I should have put my foot down right at the start, you know? But no, I had to be a gracious business partner. That was stupid. And then I let a, a competition start between my son's girlfriends. Right. And now that the choice has been made, where is Carly to deal with the fallout? Out of town. Out of town? Mm-hmm. Where? I don't know. I don't know. I might know if she hadn't hung up on me. She hung up on you? Yeah. That... <clears throat> you know... Laura, this company is supposed to be your foray into independence. It still is. And Elizabeth is your choice. Yeah, she's everything that I wanted for the face of deception, innocence and beauty combined. She is gorgeous, absolutely yeah. gorgeous, but her look is more defined and therefore more limited. She's a lot like Brenda Barrett, you know, very vampy. And you could never replace her, which is why I wanted to go the other direction, you know, back to the look of innocence like Dominique. So, yeah. So, I'll stick with Elizabeth. Well... Great, because I think you're making the right choice. Uh, not in business partners. Carly? <laughs> no, bad choice. Bobby, oh, you're busy. Oh, no, that's all right. I got a few minutes. What's going on? I am trying to find your daughter. Carly's in Martinique, didn't she tell you? She and Sonny went down there because they're getting remarried. No, she didn't tell me. She didn't mention it. She just disappeared. <laughs> oh. And you know what? It was just a few days before the deception launch party. Oh. Well, she and Sonny have been through so much lately. Well, I am sorry about that, but we do have some very big decisions facing us. And for her to just disappear without mentioning it to me just isn't right. So, why can't she do us both a favor and just resign? Laura, you're right. Carly should have kept in touch, but lately there's been so much going no, on. No, no, no. We have had a communication problem from day one, and it is just not working, Bobby. Well, this is a whole new world for her. 
And she and Sonny have been through so much lately. I know. I like Sonny. I really do. Sometimes I wish that he were my business partner instead, because at least he takes business very seriously. Well, in my experience, Carly is a lot more receptive when she's not feeling challenged. So try and get her to see your side. I have, Bobby. But right now, I am just too busy to cater to her sensitive nature, okay? So if you hear from your daughter, you tell her that I'm going to launch this campaign tomorrow night. I will. Good luck. Thank you. Hang in there. I will. It'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, uh, excuse me. I, I just caught the tail end of that, uh, but do you mind if I throw my two cents in? You're on the right track. You try to reason with Carly, and it is a colossal waste of time and energy. Naturally, Bobby would caution you to use uh, kid gloves with Carly, but that's because she's got all that mother guilt. But you would advise a different course of action? Carly understands one thing. It's a hard line. To her, basic human kindness is a fatal flaw, and she will exploit anything that she perceives as a vulnerability to her own advantage. Wow. Uh, I knew that you had problems with her, but I, I didn't know it was that bad. No, I, I, I caused most of my own misery myself. But I did get a crash course in the psychology of Carly, and you stick to your guns. It's the only way you'll survive. Okay, well, you know, I, I'm not going to wait to launch Deception until she resurfaces, because I can't. Good for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the reality check. It's good to know that I'm not crazy or something. <laughs> no, you have a good instinct for survival. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, I don't care if you have to bring a fishing pole down to the Port Charles River. We need fresh salmon. Do you understand? Oh, the nerve. Oh, thank God you're here. We need an emergency consultation. Is it about the launch party? Evidently, this erstwhile catering establishment feels that spray cheese on a cracker is nouvelle cuisine. And evidently, there's a floral blight on every species but the common carnation. Wait a minute now. We had a faxed confirmation, didn't we? Yes. The menu it, and the floral It's arrangement. all on your desk. Okay. Will you please take care of this for me? <laughs> I would love to. That caterer won't know what hit him. Great. Any other problems? Well, we've yet to hear from the ever-elusive Mrs. Corinthos, but I shall persevere. You know what? That's not a problem, Elton. It's a blessing. Don't waste any more time trying to contact her because I am going on without her. Bitch. That's pate du champignon, and do not even attempt to pass off anything that's even seen the inside of a can. Oh, and we'll need a nice bottle of Sauterne on the table nearby. Nothing that comes in a box. Oh, oh, Mrs. Corinthos, I left a pile of messages Later. on your desk. Oh, please don't go in there. She's on a very important phone call. No, she's not anymore, and we don't want to be disturbed, Elton, okay? Oh. Look, if you I'll can't to honor the price that you quoted me originally, we will not be one of your accounts. I'll have to get back to you on this. Carly, nice of you to drop in. I just heard that you think Elizabeth Weber is going to be the face of deception? That's correct. No, that's incorrect. Uh, that's not your call to make. Oh, really? a deal right we're partners no major decisions without my approval you haven't been around for me to ask for your opinion you have been pulling a disappearing act since day one you know i call you and you hang up on me you leave town without letting me know without any way to reach you i had a family crisis look you knew that the launch party was set for tomorrow night and everything carly is hanging on that press party laura I was trying to save my marriage, okay? Oh, come on. You know, you could have found one minute, Carly, one minute to call me and tell me where you were. Until I talked to your mother, I had no idea where you were, when you were coming back, or if you were ever coming back. Well, I'm here now, aren't I? And I'm ready to work. Well, you're too late. I'm sorry, the decision has been made. Both girls were given a fair test with the same photographer, and when the time came to select a winner, you, my dear, were nowhere to be found. We never agreed on any deadline to select the winner. There's plenty of time. We no, can just no. change the decision. Stop it, Carly. Stop it. Okay? The decision has been made, and it is final. Elizabeth Weber is going to be the new face of deception. Now, 
If you want to be my partner, why don't you help me for a change? There are tons of details for the party tomorrow night that need attention. I'm not going to let you do this, okay? My husband and I own 50% of this company. Uh-uh. You own 49, I own 50. He owns one. Plus, we supplied all the financing. Sonny did. Sonny is my husband, Laura. Go ahead. Force him to choose between you and I. He'll lose. I'll shut this company down before I let Elizabeth Weber be the new face of deception. Well, I guess that's it. Unless you want to grab a wig and come with me. You know I can't leave Port Charles. I know. You got cookies to bake, laundry to do, dusting to dust. Yes, I do. You have no idea how difficult it is to watch you leave like this. Well, the truth is, you know, it's probably better you don't go. This is going to be strictly business. Is that your idea of a partnership? You bully me into getting your way. I haven't made one decision since I started working here, Laura. You picked the office, you picked the building, you picked the best office. And you know what? You threw me in a little shoebox across the hall. I am just trying to get the company up and running. That's all. No, that's not all. I, I, I haven't made one solitary decision, and I have closets at home that are bigger than my office. Look, <laughs> I'm sure we can get you a larger office, preferably on a different floor. Preferably in a different state? Sometimes I feel that way. How do you think I feel, Laura? You designed my office without my approval. Another time that you weren't around. You don't let me do anything. I get to make no decisions. Grow Nothing. up. Grow up, okay? You want to be an equal partner with me? You yeah. put in equal time, Missy. Look, I am here 12 hours a day, five days a week. I even come in on the weekends lately because there are so many phone calls to return. Did you not know why I couldn't be here, that little thing about my husband getting shot? Right, right. What about before he was shot? Hmm? What about now? Okay, I have made the decisions here because you haven't been here, ever. No, that's not true. You made this decision because Elizabeth is Lucky's girlfriend. Oh, bull! I chose Elizabeth because she embodies my vision. What about our vision? No, no! I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let a little waitress be the face of deception. She can be the face of Kelly's. She's good at that. I want exotic. I want sexy. I want brilliant, beautiful. I want Gia. Well, that's just too bad. That is not going to happen now because you disappeared. We are going ahead with the announcement as planned. The invitations have been mailed, the caterer's been hired, the champagne is chilling. Well, I'm not asking you to change the date of the announcement, just the model. The posters are being printed with Elizabeth's picture on it. Burn them. Oh, Order please. new ones. It's not too late. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, you know what? I'm going to show you. Oh. Come here, stress goddess. Sit. I can't. Because I do have a million things to do. Partners, remember. Come on. Okay. What do you see? Innocence, purity, vitality. Mm-hmm. And the kind of woman that's going to buy this is what? The kind of woman who hangs out at the mall and wants bubblegum flavored lipstick? Yes. Mm. Now, what do you see? A strikingly beautiful woman with a defined and limited look. No, Gia, Gia, Gia's appeal is for everyday woman, for today's woman, for the kind of woman that's got a salary, Laura, not an allowance. The kind of woman that can actually afford to buy our cosmetics. No, I don't want it to be an elitist company. I want it to have a broad appeal. But Gia will appeal to the global market. You know what? Little Lizzie Weber looks like she should be the model for the dairy farmer's booth at the state fair. The announcement is going to go ahead as planned. And you are just going to have to accept that. I would like you to come to the party tomorrow night. I'd like you to show your support to Elizabeth for being the new face of deception. All right? Like it or not, that is the way it's going to be. That's just great. Um, that's nice. Laura? Oh. 
back? Hi. Oh, thank God. Perfect timing. Are uh, you okay? Um, yeah, I, I, I just was so scared. I, I guess I got a blowout. I, I was just about to call the automobile club. Well, do you have a spare in the trunk? Um, I, I think so. <laughs> I think I can manage to change a tire. Let me have the key. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where are you headed? Home. I am exhausted. I got up at 5 a.m. this morning. I haven't seen Lulu once today. Starting a new business is hard work. Oh, you have no idea. So, how are you doing? In transition. I quit my job. Why? Because of the mayor? Uh, yeah, he was part of it. But you know, when I was turning my badge in, I, I thought I was making a stand. Oh, my God. Now I think it was more about wanting a new start. Boy, I can relate to that. Hmm. All right. Gia. Hi. Nice ride. You always travel by limo? You will, too, when you sign the deception contract. Why, did you get Laura to change your mind I or haven't, something? no, but uh, I have a plan. Oh, well, come on in. Hey. Oh, man, I had almost given up on you. No, no, I just want to say goodbye to Bob. We had a really cool thing, a little picnic over that, uh, you know, that gazebo where the... Spare the, me the uh, details. You know, the, yeah. Say goodbye to Roy DeLuca and hello. Hello, Gary. Gary Sanders? Do I look like Gary Sanders to you? Well, pick a nickname. Well, I can do better than Gary Sanders, I'm sure. Listen, I can hear the Ice Princess calling us. Luke! Gary Sanders! Gus, Lee Saunders, man. Okay, ready to roll. Thank you so much. My pleasure. So what are you gonna do now? Oh, well, tonight I'm gonna play poker with uh, Garcia and Taggart. Hmm. The rest is up for grabs. Hmm. I don't know, maybe I'll follow your lead and start something completely new. No, oh, no, no, don't use me as a role model. What are you talking about? A successful CEO in just a matter of months? <laughs> no, that's just all smoke and mirrors, believe me. Uh, nights like tonight, I think I was an absolute fool to take on deception, especially with Carly as a partner. Has she even been around with everything that's happened to Sonny? Oh, just enough to make trouble. So what's the upside? <laughs> I like the challenge, I don't know. Uh, I like the independence, you know. Um... Even though I'm not so happy with the deal that I made with Sonny, it is strictly business. I mean, no man is making deception happen for me. It is mine. Hey, um, do you think, do you think you'd want to go to the deception launch party? Wow, I don't know. Me and all the beautiful people, huh? Oh, yeah. All right. right. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Really? Sure. Oh, well, great. It's, it's going to be tomorrow night at the, at the deception offices at 8 o'clock. Okay, I'll be there. Great. Thank you so much. You know, you really saved my life tonight. My pleasure. Thanks. Okay. Well, okay. be I, careful. I will. Okay, I drive will. careful. I will. Night. Night.